This video is sponsored by Carnivore Companion. Hey there, my meaty friends. This is Reed, aka Carnivore Chef. Hot dogs. You either hate them or you dislike them. Personally, I dislike them because I have some fond memories of hot dogs. But those sexy memories bring me back to having them from time to time. And since I recently did a video on carnivore cornbread, I thought it'd be fitting to use that on some highly processed meats. If you don't like hot dogs or highly processed meats, you will not hurt my feelings if you don't make this. But you will hurt my feelings if you don't like the video and subscribe to the channel. For this faux corn dog batter, you'll need a blender and about 5 ounces of ground pork rinds. While I let my eggs battle this out, I'll explain my method on how I came up with this recipe. Spoiler alert, stage right egg wins every battle. Anyways, I like to keep my recipes to simple ratios as often as possible. 5 ounces of pork rinds to 5 eggs, right? Well, this time I thought we'd need a touch more of the protein and the wetness from the egg to get the desired texture I was going for. And see? Right egg is a beast. His prize for winning is that he'll be added to the blender as well. Next up, let's add some forbidden non-carnivore dust aka baking powder. About a half teaspoon should do the trick. I didn't record this, but I added a half cup of water to the batter because it was a real thick one. You can skip this part if you want to. Traditionally, I'd put my batter into a tall, narrow cup, but this is far from a traditional corn dog. First, we'll need some skewers for these dogs. If yours are super long, cut them into about 3.62 inches long. I tried dipping it in and it kind of worked, but I ended up feeling kind of like a pervert. So what we're really gonna do is grab some plastic wrap, skewer up your hot dog, and lay down about a quarter cup of your batter. Shape it out to just over the length of your hot dog and about twice the width. Place your hot dog into the middle of it and press it in slightly. Using the plastic wrap and the roundness of the Nathans, form your batter around your hot dog. Definitely not a foolproof method by any means here. You'll probably mess up one or two like me, but we're experimenting here as well. Once the batter has encased the encased meat, set it onto a parchment lined baking sheet and repeat until done. If I can come up with a better way to do this, I'll make a second video on how to do so. Once they're all done, don't try to pick them up. Just place them into a freezer for about 30 minutes to one hour. And for these, I really wanted to deep fry them. Well, shallow fry. Here I'm using a 12 inch pan with about one and a half pounds of pure lard. Use any oil you want besides garbage vegetable oils. Just make sure it doesn't come up any further than halfway up your pan. These corn dogs have firmed up nicely. You want your oil to be at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I got to that point just by setting my burner to medium heat. I also used a test corn dog to make sure it wasn't too hot. To be honest, I was halfway expecting these things to just kind of disintegrate. Just to continue to cook, mine took about five minutes in total to finish cooking all the way through. Your times may vary though. Just be sure to be super careful when frying, especially over an open flame. My genuine reaction when turning the middle one made me realize I did a good thing here. And here we go, a plate of ridiculously good looking food. These just look too legit for my brain. Like, how did this even happen? All oh, right, I kind of planned for it. Extra egg, remember? All right, let's take this first bite from my Patreon community. What What the hell is this? How did this cheese one get in here? All right, anyway, let's hit up one of these real corn dogs. All right, these are crispy, fluffy, salty, and memorable. The really interesting part is that there's no corn flavor, just like the carnivore cornbread, but I'm not mad. Just listen to that crisp. Excuse me while I take this plate to make some more memories. Check out our newly released seasoning Steak Dust along with our flagship seasoning Smokestack and our bestseller Tuckologem. Use the code CCUTube10 at carnivorecompanion.com to save 10% off your first order.